What is going on, guys? It's your boy White Alvin here. Welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 1 reaction video. I am super excited and super hyped to show you guys the brand new Chaos Reigns official launch trailer. I will do a nice little disclaimer. I did watch this at work and it legit took all of my willpower to not fucking shout at my job, dude. It was it was kind of that hype. It's, it wasn't that hype because, I mean, okay, <laughs> okay kind of like retracted what I just said there, but in hype of like of what I saw, you know, like there's a certain guest character that we see at the end that I was just not prepared to see. And of course I had to say, I had to, uh, you know, talk to my brother about it and we were discussing a few things about it and whew, I'm hyped, man, I'm hyped, I'm hyped. If you don't know, it's Ghostface, man. You already know, Scream is one of my favorite fucking slasher films of all time, uh, at least the first one. First and second, they're pretty good. The rest I kind of really don't care uh, too much about, but they're not bad. Uh, we did see some animalities that are pretty sick, and we saw a new side boss, full animality, which I want to get to, um, you know, and kind of like talk about that. You know, I just want to talk about some of the animalities, and I, guys, I called it, bro. Didn't I call it? Smoke is the gorilla. Smoke is the gorilla. I called it, man. Where's my credit? I called it. I called it. But literally just before I... Uh, started recording they did show off katana's animality and i legit had to stop the video i had to stop it like i, I pulled up twitter as you can see right here x i pulled it up and it says katana malady from ed boone i said nope pause that stop that right there i stopped it we're gonna watch that after this trailer and a little bit of a breakdown so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna watch this trailer uh uh just fully through and then we're gonna do like a small breakdown of like you know some of the things that i did see that i think a lot of people are gonna uh, probably uh, talk about um and talk about the animalities that we the two animalities that we saw so let's do it man let's do it so here we go ladies and gentlemen uh actually before i get started uh, i'm not sponsored god i wish i was that'd be insane but uh, i just got from the store and i did buy this uh yep it's still bad the brand new beetlejuice haunted apple fanta which is a spiced apple flavor. It fucking sucks, okay? And it was funny because I grabbed it and I was in line and some lady behind me, like legitimately, she's like, yeah, I tried it with some friends. It's it's terrible. Yeah, she wasn't lying. It, it's fucking terrible. Again, not sponsored, uh, but I highly recommend that if you like trying gross shit and uh, if you don't like it or if you're not a fan of gross things, don't buy it. But here we go, man. Let's get into it. I'm so hyped, man. Oh, I'm so hyped. I'm actually like, this is probably the most hype I've been in a, in a hot minute with this game. So let's do it. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Uh, you can even see the boy, uh, history behind the war. He's kind of hyped. Too. He's also rocking a red shirt today. But here we go, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Like, comment, and subscribe in three, two, one. Oh, look at Melina. Havoc throwing his fucking head. Yeah, you said it, pal. All oh, rain. Is at your disposal. What I ask is that oh, you said frost, man. We had chaos frost. Break the cycle of violence. New, uh, new sidebar fatality. Let real warriors handle this. So it's pretty much the stuff we already seen. They're just kind of like read, like doing a small recap. All these new stages, man. When this crisis ends, we settle our differences. Brutality. Sectors, Cyrax's animalities. The fucking mammoth! Sub Zero! Oh, the Phoenix, bro! The Phoenix! And we're having them in the game, so I'm not that hyped about him, you know. Oh, there he is! Oh, here we go, ladies and gents. Watch this. 
Well, it's not happening just yet, but here we go. Oh, Havoc's got the skin too. Let's go. The skins. That's something I want to talk about too. Here we, go. here we go, ladies and gents. Here we go. Oh, here we go. MK9 Fatality with the Animality. Oh, oh so good. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh, so sick. Let's go, dude, we got Ghostface, man. So Ghostface is gonna be the first DLC character for Mortal Kombat 1, man, or for the Combat Pack 2, at least. And Animality, I called it, I called it, I knew it was you, Smoke, you couldn't, you couldn't hide from me, man, but, whoo, like, dude, watching this for, like, the fifth time today, it, it's still super hype, man, it's still super hype, but, I do want to go back and watch a couple of new things here. Uh, mainly some of like the gameplay. I really kind of don't care too much for the story because obviously I'm going to play the story anyways. Um, but, you know, I just kind of want to do just notice a few things here. Like right here, we got... Oh, we got Chaos Frost. You see that? That's pretty sick. Let's see if I can get a better... Look at that. We got Chaos Frost, man. She's going to get a Chaos skin, which is pretty cool. Is that together? Try to break the cycle of violence. And right the damn, what a fucking what's it called? So this is this is new Cybot's second fatality, and this one's God damn, that one that's fucking brutal. <laughs> that's brutal. Okay, that was Cyrax's. And then we saw a Cyrax brutality there too. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a, a perfect what's it called here. We got Sonya doing this back bend. <laughs> Yeah, see, so, ooh, okay, this looks like it could be off of a, the fact that I, you like that? I got that perfect, uh, what's it called now, too, that little, but it looks like this might come off of that string where she throws the, um, like, the bomb and, like, bounces off your head. So, I'm, I'm assuming that's where that brutality comes from. Got a, ooh, we got a nice shot of, uh, Noob Cybot's butt in, in this UMK3 outfit. Uh Okay. Let's see, I'm just because I just want to skip to the things that I noticed. So it looks like, or okay, so it looks like right here, Sector and Cyrax are having their falling out here. Ends, we settle our differences. Which is pretty cool. So we, I mean, it was kind of already hinted at. It's been like that for like ever now. Oh, here we go. We got a brand new, uh, they, a brand new Sector brutality where it looks like it comes from her uh, ground slam, which is pretty cool. So watch this. Uh. Bam, bam, and it like just explodes them with the rockets too. I wonder if that's an homage to any of her older things. I don't, or any of like old, like Sector's old fatalities. I have no clue because a lot of the brutalities in Mortal Kombat, especially like MK11, and a bit of this game, especially MK11, when you think about it, they were all homages to the old fatalities back in like the original Midway era, you know. We got Sector's uh, animality here. We got the rest of fucking Cyrax's animality, which it looks like she like stabs you with the stinger and his like head and fucking face melts off and explodes. But here we go, dude. dude fucking Sub Zero is a mammoth, man. Oh, it's funny because I thought you know everybody thinks or thought he was gonna be the uh, a polar bear again because back in you know trilogy, his animality was a polar bear. But dude, the mammoth I think is even cooler than a fucking polar bear, man. Like this is so sick. Impales him, then rips him with the trunk. Oh, it's so good. The fucking Phoenix. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. When I first saw this trailer, uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's put this in slow motion here. When I first saw this trailer, I thought this was Katana's. It's not, it's Liu Kang's, and it's fucking sick. Look at this. Look at this, dude. Like the Phoenix, the glowing eyes. He's got the, the red and blue uh, feathers, because, you know, obviously, uh, Liu Kang has, you know, red and blue fire. You can kind of see it here in the in the details here. And it's ironic that he's doing it against, against Scorpion, but dude, 
I'm actually kind of hyped that they gave Liu Kang a different animal because, you know, for like decades since legit his uh, animality in the trilogy games was always a dragon. He had it in trilogy. I think he had it in four, a uh, uh, MK4. Um, I think he maybe I don't know if he had it in the older game or in like the 3D era. I don't know. But he's, I know back in MK9, he had the, the Dragon Fatality again. So it was always, you know, Liu Kang's always been associated with dragons and stuff. So the fact, but the fact that they gave him a Phoenix is pretty cool, man. I really, I really fuck with it. It also makes sense too, because the Phoenix is a mythical creature and he's a god. So it's pretty cool. I, I really like that. I think so far, this is my favorite animality. We haven't seen Katanas yet. So let's keep going. Let's see, like just wraps the feathers around. Oh, Shang Tsung. I thought that was Scorpion, but. That just fucking sentiment in Inferno is so cool. All right, we're gonna see the quote unquote new combatants. Come on now. All right, let's skip a little because here they just like show off. Uh, okay, here this is what I want to. Uh, this is what I saw. Sorry, I'm like I'm like my brain is processing way too fast for my tongue here. But this is what I kind of saw on Twitter. Some people were discussing a no cameo mode because if you notice here, uh, hey Arnold. You can kind of see right here with Melina and then with Noob Sidebot, they do like their poses and there's no cameo, as you can kind of see here. But what I think, personally, what I think they're doing, they're just showing off the skins. Because they do that with the other characters, right? Like, um, like you know, with the DLC characters, like the final hit, they have them do like this pose. Or at the beginning, they have like them do the pose, like their, their, uh, their victory pose. And they're always by themselves with the cameo, so... I don't know if we're necessarily getting a no cameo mode. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, uh, hold on while I drink this and pure discuss. <laughs> oh, yep, still bad. But um, I think they're just showing off the costumes here because look, we got Empress Melina looking great. Then we got UMK3 Noob Cybot, which looks fucking sick. But then here, when they show off uh, Kwai Liang, uh, Scorpion, in his outfit, he's with Kung Lao. So I don't know if it's necessarily a no cameo mode or they're just showing off like, hey, here, here's the new skins that you're going to be getting if you pre-ordered uh, Chaos Reigns, which I did. I did. I did. But look at that, dude. Havoc gets the Titan Havoc skin, man. Yeah, that sounds weird saying that. But he gets his Titan skin. This, this should have been his default one, but I'm kind of glad they actually saved it for Chaos Reigns because this is a badass fucking skin, man. Cause I, I'll say right now, I think his Titan skin that we got in the game is dog shit. It's like the worst one in the game, dude. He's got way better skins that you could be rocking on him than the one that they gave him for his Titan skin. But definitely be rocking that one on Havoc when it comes out. Uh, uh. And you got the stage here. You got like a like this like yeah, it's like a Coliseum, which is pretty sick. So you got Havoc in the back. You don't know how that works. Since he's right there and he's right here. We got like a Coliseum. At the pyramid, that's almost re uh, reminiscent of uh, Armageddon. You know, like the pyramid with Blaze on top. But instead of Blaze, it's uh, it's kind of cool because that looks like a fire. But uh, it's Havoc instead. UMK3 Sub-Zero. That skin looks really good in motion. Look at this one. So I, I don't know the Pillars of Creation back here. Um, I didn't. I, I think we've seen this stage already. I think this is like the, uh, like the Marketplace looking one. But the last time we saw it, it was like dark as shit. And this time we see it like bright and or as bright as you can be. And I never noticed these fucking like iron statues of these horses. That's pretty sick. Oh, excuse me. Uh, uh, it's a fatal blow. Calling Janet. Uh, oh, dude, you saw that? What is the skin for Katana? This is... Actually, looking at it now, I don't think it's that bad than when you saw it in the uh, in the trailer for um, Sector. But come on, it's not beating this. This is insane. Like this looks so good. But uh, I, I mean, I wish they would have like kept her long hair, or like do like the thing where it's like one side is like shaved and like the other side is like super long. I think that would have been fine. I don't know. But uh, it actually doesn't look that bad here. I'm trying to see if there's anything else here. Got the brothers. Noob Saibot versus Takeda. We got Kenshi in his gold skin here. His like his uh, Order of Darkness skin. So he's going to be getting his gold relatively soon. No, he already has his gold, right? They gave us his gold. And then this is something interesting because from what 
my uh, viewpoint of this is that this might be either the warrior shrine that we've seen since like the start of the fucking game and they haven't done shit with it or this could be towers of time that we had in mk11 so who knows what time will tell until you know uh, next week when we do get chaos reigns um because these don't like like the little icons here they don't match um like the the icons for the uh for the combat league you know and but this one has like a little clock on it so i wonder if this is actually like towers of time instead so we actually have traditional towers or like a towers of time like we did in mk11 which is pretty cool you know and it'd be cool like if they do the thing in uh in mk11 where the meteorite goes by or like whatever or something goes over the moon here you put in a code you get like a free combat league skin like they did in mk11 but let's keep going Okay, more story stuff. Kind of seen this already. Yep, a little ending pose there for Cyrax. Hold on. Let me get it. There we go. Cool little ending pose for her. And then we already seen all the finish and stuff. Good old classic, uh, our, our, you know, fatalities. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. So, bro, they basically took Noob's MK9 fatality, the Wishbone fatality and gave it to his animality. It's like the same exact, like, break down the middle to three pieces. It's like the same exact animation from MK9, but with alligators now. It's insane. Like, watch this. So just watch this. Grabs him. It's the, ex it's legit his MK9 fatality. Even the splits down the middle when he gets ripped is exactly ripped, uh, exactly from MK9. Uh, oh, you can kind of see it, like, right there. Look, you know, like the little weird, what's it called? Uh, insane. I like the little detail of the other body going into the portal, or the other side of the body going into the portal. Hell yeah, dude. That's so sick. That's so cool. And obviously, we got Ghostface, man. So here we go. Let's watch this one more time before we get to the animalities. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, gutted. I'll gut you like a fish. Still want to know how they're going to play or how he's going to play. Bumps into another one, like a taller fucking ghost face. Classic scene right there. Uh, into the head, through the back, split the head down the middle. They kick. And I believe this part right here that they do, the knife wipe, is from Scream 6. I haven't seen that one, so I don't know. Nice, though. Nice, nice. But I believe this scene is from uh, Scream 6. But there we go, man. Oh, Chaos Reigns looks in same, bro. I mean, they, I mean, come on. You look, love or hate this game, NRS knows how to make some really good fucking uh uh what is it? trailers, you know? They always know how to make trailers, but we're done with this. Let's get on to some of the, the two animalities that they revealed. So of course, let's pop up what's it called? Of course, we I called it, man. I'm so happy that I called this. Uh, unfortunately, it's not gonna white into the whole thing, but I called it, man. I called it. I said, I, I legit, even though I just forgot what video, I think it was my sector video or my noob cybot one. Um, where you know, I was just like, huh, you know, just kind of deducing who the hell the because we saw the tiger, we don't know who the fuck the tiger is. Um, but kind of trying to like deduce who the gorilla was, and I noticed the scar, and smoke has that scar, and lo and behold, when they revealed his animality. It was smoke, man. So here we go. Here we go. They revealed this uh, yesterday, I believe. So let's watch this real quick. I love it, dude. I love it. Uh, it's fucking silverback. It... Oh, brutal. Hell yeah, dude. That's sick. That's sick, dude. And I've been saying that a gorilla could probably actually do that to the IRL, but I called it, man. I'm so hyped that I actually called that. But here we go. No, okay, here. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Katana's fatality. I've been saying this for a, a while now. I, I want her to be a snow leopard. I think a snow leopard fits her perfectly. I don't know why. I think a snow leopard would fit, would just fit Katana perfectly. But we're going to see what it is now, man. I, Ed Boon, please don't let it be lame as shit. That's all I'm asking for. Don't make her a fucking rabbit. <laughs> 
like you did before, man. So here we go, ladies and gents. God, I hope I don't get disappointed. A fucking hummingbird? Okay. Oh. Okay, that's okay. That's a, no, that's insane. That's actually insane. That's actually insane. It's like reminiscent of Kung Lao's um MKX fatality, where like he splits you down the middle, like a little, like a little flower pot, and because it's a hummingbird, she's like sucking up the blood. Okay, it's not a snow leopard, but I will take that. That's actually pretty sick. I didn't know you can make a hummingbird fucking dangerous, but that was pretty fucking cool. Let's watch that one more time. I love that, and I guess it makes sense because she has fans, you know. Um. I mean, I still don't, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh, cause you can kind of start the fans turn to her wings here. That's pretty cool. No, I'm actually, I'm actually really, I, I like that. I, I like, I like Katana's animality. Uh. Damn. Nah, that's an insane animality. I actually fuck with that one heavy. God, thank you, Ed Boon, for actually, whew, whew. I would, I do. Thank you, Ed Boon, for not making her crap. I'm so happy that it's actually pretty cool, man. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's gonna be it for today's video, man. I, you know, I've said this many times. You know, I have a, I have a very like love hate relationship with MK1. You know, there's times where I absolutely, I absolutely love playing the game. There's times I just fucking despise it. You know, but Chaos Reigns, man, it, it, it pulled me in, bro. And that's because I'm just a Mortal Kombat fan in general. But I'm, I'm happy that Katana actually has a really good animality. Uh, again, wasn't expecting the Hummingbird. I was hoping, you know, again, I think a Snow Leopard would have been a lot cooler for her. Uh, but, you know, she's got fans. Makes, so it makes sense that she gets a, uh, a like a, a bird of some type. It's no, it's no fucking Phoenix, you know, like Liu Kang. But it's a bird, so it's, it's pretty cool. They could have gave her like a Falcon or something like that, but... I think I think I think I think it works. It works. It works. And I kind of like, I like the way the the end the the end of it where Melina just splits down like into four chunks and then like the, the fucking like fountain of blood comes out and like using the, like the the fucking big ass beak that hummingbirds have uh, to like suck it up. You know, emulating like the uh, like nectar that it was sucked from a flower. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video, man. And if you did, like, comment, and subscribe. It is your boy White Album. Oh, actually, before I sign off, uh, unfortunately, I will be at work tomorrow, so I won't be able to catch the, um, uh, well, I'm going to be working tomorrow, but, uh, I won't be able to catch the combat cast that's actually happening tomorrow, so I might, depending on what time they do it, I might be able to catch the tail end of it, I don't know, but just like I did for Sector and Cyrax, uh, I'll just, you know, completely not watch it, and then when I get home from work, I'll record it, you know, get a, a, a fresh reaction from it because I believe it's gonna be Noob Cybot, Noob Cybot, and some extra stuff. Uh, I know they're gonna be talking about invasions, so and hopefully some of the stuff that we saw here, you know, like the like that Towers of Time type of thing, and maybe some more animalities, you know. Uh, but again, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. It is your boy White Album. I will see you guys next time. Oh, and don't buy that fucking Fanta, please. <laughs>